Join me, everyone. Let's catch the wave on Arirang Radio. All right, welcome back. Here we go. It is now time for K Talk, and Hyunwoo Sanseung Nim is joining me. 안녕하세요, 선현우입니다. Hello, everybody. Hyunwoo here. Yes, uh, Hyunwoo Sanseung Nim. 안녕하세요. How are you? 안녕하세요. I'm good. I'm yeah? good. Very <laughs> <laughs> excited to be here. And today is the 8th of August. Yeah. In English, the name of each month, uh-huh. they are words, right? Yeah. But in Korean, they are numbers. That's right. So on a day like this, it's 8월 8일. 88. Yeah, 88. So it's a little more fun <laughs> to say the date in Korean, I think. Okay, Because, 88. Yeah, in English, it's August, and August has nothing to do with, like, Yeah. Number eight. It doesn't have a, a specific meaning. It doesn't rhyme, you know, even. So yeah. <laughs> in Korean, 8월 8일. 8월 8일. Yeah. 8, 8. What does 8, 8 mean in Korean? 8, 8, I mean, it can remind a lot of uh, people of the Seoul Olympics in the 1988. I was nine years old, I think, or yeah. eight years old. Yeah, we had the Summer Olympic Games uh, yeah. here in Seoul in 1988. That's right. And mm-hmm. I guess that's the only thing. <laughs> oh, there's also a big highway here called 8, 8. Ah, okay. 88 Expressway. Yeah, 88 고속도로. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Other than that, <laughs> <laughs> maybe people who were born in the 1988, the year. Maybe. 88 년생. Some of our listeners may be born in 88. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, every Friday, we with Hyunwoo uh, want to teach you some Korean expressions, and I know that we have more and more people trying to learn Korean. So this is a good way uh, for you to maybe learn some new words. Uh, Hyunwoo, we're going to be talking about a survival expression in the first part. In the second part, we'll talk about the lyrics of a song, a K-pop song. That's right. And in the second hour, of course, we'll listen to your audio clips, and we will answer your questions. That's the program. For today, so uh, why don't we jump into it uh, right now? The first expression, what is it, please? The first expression is 얼마나 기다려야 돼요? Mm-hmm. 얼마나 기다려야 얼마나 기다려, 돼요? 기다려야 돼요? So this might seem a little long, maybe relatively long, like mm-hmm. compared to other expressions that we introduced before, but it's sometimes really, really essential. Yeah. Because in many places, if you go to a good restaurant... You have to and, wait. Yeah, you have to wait. That's true. And the waiting line can be really, really long. Uh-huh. Even today, I had uh, lunch at a somewhat known um, restaurant okay. near Dongdaemun. Uh-huh. You know, the big spaceship-like building. Oh, yeah, the, the so- Seoul Plaza, Dongdaemun Digital Plaza. Design Plaza. Uh, Dongdaemun di- di- Design? Design Plaza. Design yeah, Plaza. so it's called DDP. Okay. And we went there. <laughs> And we had to wait like 40 minutes Ooh. to actually get a table for ourselves. So it's a really good restaurant. It's a really famous restaurant. Uh-huh. And we used this same phrase ourselves. You asked. Yeah. 얼마나 기다려야 돼요? So that means how long should we wait? Yeah. 얼마나 기다려야 돼요? Yeah. Yeah, you need to wait. Uh, sometimes they give you like a buzzer. You know, yeah, they sometimes. give you something so that you know when it's your turn. Mm-hmm. But people are also afraid that people might just take the the buzzer and go home. So they <laughs> usually take down your uh, number maybe and your name. Most yeah. places just write down um, your name and yeah. then uh, and call then they out call your you. name. Yeah, yeah. So people have to wait around the entrance of the mm. restaurant, which can be a little bit inconvenient. Yeah. But, you know, you can ask them, 얼마나 기다려야 돼요? And mm-hmm. they will give you a rough number, like 20 minutes, yeah. 30 minutes, and you can do a little bit of shopping around there and then come back in 20 minutes. Why not? Yeah. Okay, so that's a very uh, useful expression if you're coming to Korea and if you have to ask, how long uh, is it going to take or how long uh, should we wait? Mm-hmm. So basically, 얼마나 means how long or how much mm-hmm. or how many, like how something. Yeah. And 기다리다 is to wait. And mm. 기다려야 돼요 means We should wait. Should I wait? Kidalya <laughs> yeah. Olma. Olma is uh, actually quite expensive. Uh, I mean, useful yeah. when yeah, you yeah. ask for the price exactly, exactly. of something. Olma eo. Yeah. So if you just say the first two words, the two syllables, olma, that means how much. Mm-hmm. But olmana is a little different than olma. So olmana can refer to how long. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, the first expression for you here uh, today. And we have a little quiz. A quiz uh, for you to win, I guess, a book sponsored to us by TalkToMeInKorean.com. That's true. <laughs> if you uh, guess the quiz answer correctly, yep. and if you are chosen, uh-huh. we will send you a book. So, so what's the question this time? The quiz is, I just told you uh, the answer as part of my Uh-oh. explanation. <laughs> uh-huh. So if you were paying attention, what does 
기다리다 mean? 기다리다. Number one. Wake up. Number two. Wait. Number three. Wail. And number four. To be long. <laughs> <laughs> so 기다리다, what does it mean? Why did you put whale in there? Uh, because it could be 기다리다. <laughs> I don't know. 기다리다. 기다리다. Yeah, 기다리다. What okay. is 기다리다? So it's a verb and what does it mean? Good luck to you. That's uh, the quiz for today's edition of K-Talk. And if you have the answer, if you're selected today, you will get to, to receive, I guess, a book uh, published by Hyunwoo and his team. We'll play some music. We'll come back. We're going to be focusing on a song. Which song are we going to talk about? We're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna talk about a song by Sister. Aha! Yeah, touch my body. Touch my body. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. So stay with us. This is Sunny. 아는 사람 얘기. Story of someone I know. That was Sunny here on Catch the Wave. I like Sunny. I think he's a, a very talented artist, hip-hop artist. A rapper. Yeah. And he has a really unique voice. <laughs> Why? You think so? I, yeah, yeah. I mean, every time I hear his voice, I can really just tell. Like, yeah, you, know, you recognize immediately. Yeah, oh, that's Sunny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's if you true. listen to a lot of fast-paced raps, yeah. you know, it could be anybody, but sometimes, mm. you know, but Sunny, like, I think his voice is really, really unique. Hmm. There you go. We'll have uh, some more music uh, coming up in just a little bit. Uh, let's uh, read the quiz once again. What does 기다리다 mean? 얼마나 기다려야 돼요? That was the expression, the survival expression Hyunwoo uh, taught us. So what does the verb 기다리다 mean? Number one? Wake up. Number two? Wait. Number three? Wail. Number four? To be long. Okay. Uh, all right, good luck to you, and you might be able to win a book if you participate and if you're selected. Let's talk about a song, and we like to do this every week. We pick a K-pop song, and we basically analyze part of that song with the lyrics. That's right, usually one sentence out of the song. That's right. And today, this week, I wanted to uh, talk about this particularly mm -hmm. Popular song by yeah. Sister <laughs> with a very refreshing music video. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> yeah, so Touch My Body is the song that we are talking about. And um, coincidentally, Touch My Body has a lot of English words in there. Uh -huh. So, like even the title, you, yeah, like the title, of course. <laughs> the title itself is in English, but even if you don't understand any Korean, you can still understand 40 50 percent of, of the, the song. Of the song, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I think. The song also has some really interesting sentences, so okay. I picked out one Korean sentence in there. Let's listen to it and we'll discuss it together. <laughs> so as you can see, right after this line that we're going to talk about, you hear English. Like, yeah. Everybody touch my body. <laughs> so it's easier to pay more attention to English because it's more comfortable. Uh -huh. But let's try to focus on the Korean parts. Okay. So what exactly did we hear? Okay. So the lyrics, uh, the lyric line that uh, we want to focus on uh -huh. went something like this. 지금 이 리듬이 좋아. 뜨거운 태양 아래 너와 나. Okay, so let's analyze it uh, bit by bit. Okay. The first part, 지금이 리듬이 좋아. Okay, so these were three words. 지금 is a now, and 이 리듬이, mm -hmm. this rhythm. 이 리듬이, yeah. this rhythm. 좋아. 좋아. Is good, or I like this rhythm right now. Yeah. And that was the first part of this line. So this is not like a single sentence. Uh -huh. This is a combination of two parts. Yeah. And then uh, they go uh, like 뜨거운 태양 아래 너와 나. 뜨거운 means hot. Hot. And hot. 뜨거워요, 뜨거워요. 뜨거워. And 태양 is the sun. Yeah, just like uh, the member of Big Bang, 태양. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it means the sun. And also 태양 is um, also a possible Korean name for, mm. for guys. Mm -hmm. I have some friends, like two friends to be exact, whose names are... Taeyang. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh Taeyang are under the hot sun. Yeah. Uh Noa na, you and me. Noa na. No is you mm -hmm. and na is me. Me and wa means and or yeah. you know with. Noa so, na. Yeah. 지금 이 리듬이 좋아. I like this rhythm mm -hmm. right now or these rhythms. Um and 뜨거운 태양 아래 너와 나. Under this hot sun, burning mm -hmm. sun. Yeah. <laughs> you and me. You and me. Let's listen to it once again. <laughs> Now, if you were just listening to this song and you didn't realize the word 
rhythm uh-huh. was actually supposed to be the English word rhythm. rhythm. Uh, you might have thought that the r sound was more like L, uh-huh. like rhythm. <laughs> rhythmi, rhythmi yeah. jua. But that's because it was uh, said in Korean. Yeah, yeah. rhythmi rhythm, jua. Rhythm. People don't necessarily say rhythmi jua. Yeah, in, in Korean, um, there are letters that don't exist. Like, you know, in, yeah. in the English alphabet, you have F. You mm-hmm. have V, V, but in Korean we don't have those letters. Yeah, other examples are R, maybe yeah. L mm-hmm. and Z, and That's also true. the the sound. <laughs> <laughs> those don't don't exist, so people have to replace those with other Korean consonants. That's right. So sometimes uh, you don't really understand a word, but because it's actually the Korean way of pronouncing an English word. That's right. And what we're doing right now is radio. Radio, <laughs> radio. You know, some people radio. Yeah, say even radio, uh-huh. like with an L, clear L sound. Radio, radio but it's <laughs> radio, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, 지금 이 리듬이 좋아. So maybe you can uh, remember 좋아. 좋아 means you like when you enjoy something. Mm-hmm. 좋아요. Mm-hmm. Uh, 태양 is the sun, and 너와 나. 너 is you, and 나 is me. That's 너와 right. 나. Noana. And together, Noana is Uri. Yes, Uri. Us. Us, or we. That's maybe another word you can also remember. Okay, well, uh, we're going to be listening to the full song now by Sistar, Touch My Body. It's actually their new track. It's uh, quite catchy, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it, especially during the hot temperatures. It's uh, still very hot in Korea and probably in other places around the world. In the second hour, when we come back, uh, we're going to be listening to an audio clip, and you can send us your voice messages as well. Catch Korean Wave at gmail.com. Catch Korean Wave at gmail.com. And you can also send us your questions for Hyunwoo Sunsingnim if you're trying to learn Korean right now but uh, you don't understand something Hyunwoo will be your uh, I guess uh, <laughs> uh, rescuer <laughs> he's going to rescue you I always, always try every week and also <laughs> uh, if you have any specific questions about maybe Korean culture why do Koreans do it this way yep. why do Koreans ask me these questions that mm-hmm. I don't understand or sure. stuff like that we're always here to help you it's not that we know all the answers but we can definitely try to answer. Yeah. And these days in Korea, it's really, really hot. Yeah. So just like the lyric said, 뜨거운 태양, you can even say, oh, 날씨가 뜨거워요. 날씨가 뜨거워요. Yeah, I mean, this past week was really, really 날씨 uh, hot. 날씨 is the weather. Yeah. 날씨가 so. 뜨거워요. 뜨거워요. Oh, hot weather. It's getting hot in here as well. Let's play the music. We'll be back in the second hour. This is Sistar, Touch My Body. <laughs> Let's catch the wave indeed. You and us, uh, Hyunwoo and I, are here to help you out. Welcome to the program. Happy Friday to all of you. It's the weekend. It's almost the weekend, I'm 네. sure. 주말이에요, 주말. 주말. 주말 means? Weekend. Yeah, and if you analyze that word? It's the same. 주 is week and 말 is the end, end. of something. So 주말. We even have, um, you know, in English, you don't say month end. No. <laughs> the end of the month, right? Yeah. But in Korean, you can say 월말. Even the end of the year. Yeah, I guess, yeah, Yon year mal? end, um, mal. yeah, yeah, so, mal, wal chumal. Mal, chumal. and also for students, we have kimal too. Like kimal means end of semester, end of the semester, yeah, haha. <laughs> so remember that mal means end. Okay, well, uh, as promised, we will listen to an audio clip here sent to us by a listener from Singapore. Mm-hmm. I'll give you more details. I'll read the message first. I'm P. Wei Wong from Malaysia, but currently living in Singapore as I'm working here. I'm sending you an audio uh, recording, and I would be delighted if it's selected to be broadcasted. However, if the audio recording is not selected, I hope it can be uh, shared with you. Uh-huh. Well, it is selected, so don't <laughs> worry. It's going to be shared not only with us, but with everyone listening to our show around the world. That's right. And below is the content of my audio recording and also the English translation, just in case my Korean sentences are not good enough to express <laughs> uh, correctly. Wow, this is a first. Yeah. Nobody has ever Everything done this. with yeah. the translation. Cool. And I'm sure I made quite a lot of mistakes here and there, so please help me for my pronunciation and my spelling. I would appreciate it a lot. Okay, so we're going to be listening to it, and then Hyunwoo is going to help us uh, maybe uh, give some advice and correct Pi Wei Wong. Sure. Okay, let's start. 
에이전시, 현우씨, 그리고 캐시더웨이프를 듣고 있는 여러분들 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 제가 싱가포르에서 <웃음> 유학하고 있는 말레이시아 사람이에요. 약 3년쯤 전부터 한국 드라마를 많이 봐서 한국어를 관심이 생겼어요. 음. Okay, so we're going to, I mean, cut the audio clip. It's a bit long, so we'll go part by part. Okay. Hyunwoo, what did she say? So, Adrian Shi, Hyunwoo Shi, and mm-hmm. Catch the Wave, we're listening to you guys. Hello, Adrian, Hyunwoo, and everybody who is listening to Catch the Wave, hello. That's a perfect sentence. Yeah, perfect sentence. Yeah, no errors here. Good start. <laughs> yes, and in the next line, she says, 제가, but I would say, 저는. Because, 저는. Yeah, that's more a uh, neutral way to say, you know, I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, 저는 싱가포르에서 일하고 있는 말레이시아 사람이에요. I am a Malaysian person who is working in Singapore. In Singapore. Mm-hmm. Malaysia, Singapore. Uh, neighbors. So a lot of Malaysians actually work in Singapore. Yeah, and a lot of Singaporeans also live in Malaysia. (laughs) That's true. And the next sentence, she says, 약 3년쯤 전부터, about three years ago, Mm -hmm. uh, since about three years ago, 한국 드라마를 많이 봐서, I've watched a lot of Korean dramas. So, 한국어를, she said that, but I would change it to 한국어에. Like mm-hmm. in the Korean language, 한국어에 관심이 생겼어요. I started to have interest in the Korean language. Yes, 한국어. 한국 is Korea, 어 is language. So 한국어 is Korean language. And here in the sentence, so 한국어에 관심이 생겼어요. Yeah, I think I think it's interesting um, how in Korean you say 관심 has happened. Like, what do you mean? Um, in English, you yeah. say you you have interest. You, you have interest in you're, something. You are the one who actively decided to have interest. Ah, I see you what are you mean. Doing something, but in Korean, you're not doing anything. But the interest appeared in you. It just uh, yeah. was created all alone. Yeah. 생겼어요. 생겼어요. You're not doing anything. <laughs> you didn't do it, but the interest was formed. Yeah. <laughs> 관심이 생겼어요. Okay, interesting. Let's continue with the audio clip. 그래서 한 웹사이트에서 한국어의 기본을 배우고 티티믹에서도 문법과 단어를 많이 배웠어요. Mm-hmm. 그런데 한국어를 배울수록 한국에 가고 싶었어요. 그래서 저는 여름에 혼자 한국에 처음으로 갔어요. 한달 동안 서울에 있는 한 대학교에서 한국어를 열심히 배우고 있었어요. Okay. okay, fantastic. Yeah, that's the second part of her message. What did she say? She basically said uh, in the first sentence, mm-hmm. uh, to read it really quickly, 그래서 한 웹사이트에서 한국어의 기본을 배우고 Talk to me in Korean에서 문법와 단어를 배웠어요. That's what she said. Um, like So she learned the basics at a website uh-huh. uh, and then she learned grammar and vocabulary <clears throat> words from Talk to me in Korean. But she said 문법와 문법와 Yeah, but uh, in fact, you have to say 문법과 because 와 is always used after uh, something that ends without a consonant. Yeah. Like 친구와, mm-hmm. 현우와. <laughs> but, for example, uh, if now... If there is a 받침. 받침, like last consonant, like Adrian, yeah. 과, yeah. Uh, 동생과, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So 문법과 단어를 많이 배웠어요. Uh, and then, uh, the more she studied Korean, the more she wanted to come to Korea. Mm. <laughs> so, last summer, she came to <coughs> Korea by herself. Ooh. 혼자. 한국에 왔어요. Mm-hmm. 혼자 means by, alone. By yourself, yeah. alone. And then 한달 동안, for one month, she studied at a university in Seoul and she learned Korean like really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> 한국어를 열심히 배우고 있었어요. That was the last bit of the message. Uh, 배우고 있었어요 means I was learning, but mm-hmm. it, it implies and then something happened. Yeah. You know? So if you want to... So here she should change it to what? Yeah, just 배웠어요. 배웠어요. Yeah, if you just want to say, I learned Korean a lot. Uh-huh. 배웠어요. 배웠어요. 한국어를 열심히 배웠어요. Mm-hmm. Past tense. Let's continue. 좋은 선생님을 만나고 재미있는 친구들을 만들었어요. 지금 정말 보고 싶어요. 그때 어느 날에 형우 씨 만나러 우리 선생님을 따라가서 랭귀지 미드업에 갔어요. 형우 씨하고 민경 씨랑 사진을 <웃음> 같이 찍어서 정말 기뻤어요. <웃음> I didn't know that. 그런데 그때 제가 너무 긴장되고 
자신감이 없기 때문에 형우 씨한테 한마디도 못했어요. Uh, so 아마 형우 씨 지금 절 기억이 안 나죠. 그래도 괜찮아요. <laughs> okay, so basically to translate, uh, she said that she met a lot of good teachers yeah. and made a lot of good friends. So you, uh, she misses them. Yeah. And she also talked about some kind of language meetup. Yeah, a meetup that I'm hosting every week. Um, she came to the meetup. So she saw you. Yeah, she saw me, and in the next line, she said, uh, 현우 씨하고 미경 씨랑 사진을 같이 찍었어요. So she, she took, took a photo. Took a photo with me. And Mi-kyung. And my wife. Uh-huh. But I don't remember because in the next line, she explains, but 그때 너무 긴장되고, I was too nervous. <laughs> yeah. And 자신감이 없기 때문에, 자신감이 없었, confidence. Yeah, 없었기 때문에, in the past tense, uh, she didn't have enough confidence. Uh-huh. <laughs> she wasn't able to say anything, not a word. Not a word. So, you know, yeah, not even a single word. So that's why I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, and then she says, uh, You don't remember me, right? Mm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. He doesn't remember. <laughs> it's still okay. But if I could see the photo that we took yeah. together, I will probably remember sure. your face. But I don't remember maybe your name. Hyunwoo has a very good visual memory. Yeah, visual so. memory. I'm mm. better with it. <laughs> and I think maybe we can correct her on one word. Um, 어느 날? 어느 yeah. 날에? I think yeah. she said. I think you pronounced it really naturally. But when you wrote it in the email, uh, you wrote it as 어느 날? But 어느 날. it's 어느 날, if you want to say. 날. Yeah, one, one day. day. Yeah. 어느 날. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. I think it's uh, now the end of the message. 마지막으로 EYK 하고 디디미게 커피숍 오픈 할 거니까 축하드립니다. Thank you. 나중에 Indeed. 그 커피숍에 가볼 수 있으면 좋겠어요. Hmm. 그럼 안녕히 계세요. 아하. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. So she uh, in the last bit she mentioned uh, she said congratulations on the coffee shop that we're opening with. Yeah. Um, Eat your kimchi and talk to me in Korean. I didn't want to mention it because I knew we were going to talk about it with the audio clip. But Hyunwoo is opening um, a coffee shop in the Hongdae area. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow is the opening date. That's going to be quite fun and exciting. That's right. And you can come to the coffee shop and study there all day. Like yeah. Learn Korean. Take some free classes there. Sure. Free seminars. And also make tons of friends. Yeah, it's not a regular coffee shop where you just no. go to buy coffee. It's more like a, a space where you can interact with people, you can learn Korean. Yeah. So it's going to be a, a very interesting place to visit, especially if you're coming to Korea. That's right. Make sure you go there. And Hongdae is also, you know, dynamic mm-hmm. and lots of things to see, lots of things to buy, to try. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's in a nice place. So come check it out. There you go. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Good job, P. Wei Wong. Thanks mm. for this uh, very nice message of yours. And hopefully we'll get to see you here in Korea. I hope that what we said and um, Hyunwoo's corrections will help you also to maybe uh, improve your Korean language skills. Yeah, great job. And uh, since you're the winner, you also have to send us your contact info with your details. You have to go to arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. Uh, in the menu bar, there is a place called winner information. So uh, send us a message over there. Okay, we'll listen to another audio clip uh, next week again. So send us your voice messages. All you have to do is record yourself talking in Korean. Uh, You don't even have to translate. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) But if you want, you can also uh, give us a translation of what you said. You don't have to be alone. You can be with a friend. You can talk. You can sing. You can act. Feel free. Just be creative and we will uh, play it on Catch the Wave. Okay, we'll come back in a few moments with uh, the questions you sent us. This is Changmin and Ihyun. They actually formed a project group called OM and the song is called It Girl. All right, back on air, just for you. Happy Friday, and the program continues. Hyunwoo Sansing Nim is here from TalkToMeInKorean.com, and we are trying to help you improve your Korean linguistic skills. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) And in this segment, we're going to answer some questions, right? That's right. Now, we're going to ask you a question as well. We talked about uh, this survival expression in the first hour. How long should we... mm -mm -mm. I won't say uh, the verb here. (laughs) Uh, What does 기다리다 mean? Number one? Wake up. 
Number two, wait. Number three, whale. Number four, to be long. Okay, and if you have the answer, make sure you participate. You might be able to win a book sponsored to us by Hyunwoo and his team. Now, we have some questions, and we'd like to answer your curiosities as well. So thank you very much for your participation. Okay, I'm curious about those questions. We're going to start with a message by Man PZ, mm-hmm. My Sub Story, from the UK, United Kingdom. Uh-huh. Um, I'd like to ask what the expression indit indit is used for. Uh, and this person also gives us an example. Norega <laughs> nestai um, indit. Is it just a slang term? How is it used and what does it mean? Okay, so the brief answer is it's not slang. It means um, it can be twofold. It can be two meanings. Mm-hmm. Um, one meaning is um, as if. As if. As if something is so and so. And the second meaning is it seems to be. So in this case, 노래가 내 스타일인 듯 means it seems to be my style. The yeah. song uh, is my style. Seems to be my style. Yeah. In uh, it. And in the other usage, when you say uh, 마치 친구인 듯, uh-huh. as if he or she was a friend of mine or uh-huh. something like that. So in that uh, basically means to seem to be in a certain way, but it can be either the truth or fake. I see. Indit. Indit. That's a very interesting question. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. We also have uh, Hemi. Hemi from Morocco. Um, she says, hello to you all. I hope you're doing great. Today's we, segment we're became... We're doing great. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. Today's segment became my favorite, so I try my best not to miss it. All right. Thank you very much. I have a question for um, Hyunu teacher concerning 그리고 하고 and rang. Aha. <laughs> uh, which one of those is most commonly used uh, when you want to say end? I think it's re- a really interesting question because those three words are all used differently hmm. in many different contexts. For example, 그리고 is just at the beginning of a sentence. Uh-huh. Like usually, uh, 어제 집에 갔어요. 그리고 TV를 봤어요. Yeah. I went home yesterday and, and watched TV. So 그리고, 그리고 is kind of like and then. And then, yes. 그리고 can often be the beginning of a sentence. Mm-hmm. And 하고 is, um, can can be used with um, other nouns. 나하고 너, mm. Adrian 하고 현우, stuff mm-hmm. like that. But then you can also add 하고 at the end of a verb. Yeah, 뭐뭐 하고, 밥 먹고. Yeah, or 식사 하고. Yeah. Uh, after a meal, 운동하고, after exercising. Sure. And then 랑, what's the third one? 랑, right? yes. 랑 means with someone usually. Yeah. So 현우 랑. 현우 랑, 친구 랑, 에이디리언, 이랑 in that case. Uh-huh. You can so, say 현우 랑밥 먹었어요 if you ate with 현우. Yeah. So if you want to say um, I ate with Adrian, you cannot use 그리고. No. But you can use either 하고 or 랑. Yeah. Hmm. That's a very interesting question. Thank you very much. I guess uh, you're learning Korean perhaps on your own or maybe with uh, the website, talktomeinkorean.com. If you have some other questions, Hemi, send it to us. Um, we also have Nordida, Nordida from Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Uh, sent us a message half in Korean, half in English. Okay. 저는 Malaysia에서 살고. Salgo is what you're supposed to say. You you wrote salgo, mm. so salgo catch the waver catch the waver 자주 듣는 놀리다라고 합니다. Oh, so there you go. And it's uh, her very first post. The question is, what is fasting and breaking the fast in Korean? Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, fasting means not eating. Yeah. Uh, so in that case. Tanshik is uh, how you say fasting in Korean. So um, what about kumshik? Kumshik is also possible, Uh uh, but uh, tanshik. Tanshik. Yeah. Kumshik. If you're doing it for a religious reason, Reason? um, it's kumshik. Kumshik. Because it's prohibited Uh uh, that you. I mean that you eat. So uh, kum kum is is what prevention kum. Prevention or prohibition. So eating is prohibited. Kumshik. And if you're just doing tanshik, uh-huh. you are just you know stopping eating for a, a little while. Maybe it's like be on your decision. Like you're doing some kind of diet. That's right. So if your doctor told you to stop eating for twelve hours, that's kumshik. Kumshik. But you decided to not eat. Maybe in mm. order to protest or for whatever reason yeah. to you know lose some weight that's okay. tanshik uh-huh. and uh, if you want to break the fasting it's just tanshikul momchuda 
or kuman hata. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Basically, yeah. you're stopping the fasting. That's right. So yeah. remember those two words, kumshik and tanshik. Mm-hmm. Kumshik. Kumshik also uh, reminds me of like kumyon, for instance. Mm-hmm. Kum is prohibition and kumyon means no smoking. That's right. So if you are doing fasting for Ramadan, I guess, yeah. uh, it's kumshik. Kum Shik. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your question. Uh, next one from Malaysia as well. We have Wendy. Annyeong, annyeong, DJ Adrian. 그리고 현우 선생님. 안녕, 안녕. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> 내가 질문 있어요. 제가 질문 있어요. Mm-hmm. How to say I hope or I wish in Korean. For example, I hope I can do well in the exam. I, see. I wish you all the best. I hope I can do it. Things like that. Well, uh, there's no simple way to answer that right now because... There are so many ways to say it, yeah. but one thing that you need to remember mm. is, 으면 좋겠어요. Mm. 으면. 잘 했으면 좋겠어요. Yeah, so 으면 or 했으면, that's if, and 좋겠어요 is, it would be nice. It would be nice. Yeah, so 가면 좋겠어요, 잘 하면 좋겠어요. 시험을 잘 봤으면 좋겠어요. That's right. 시험을 보다 means to take the exam. Yeah. 잘 보다 is to do well on the exam. Mm-hmm. And 잘 봤으면 좋겠어요. It would be nice if That's I right. did well on the exam. And she also, in the last uh, expression was, I hope I can do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, how can we maybe translate that? 할수 있으면 좋겠어요. 할수 있으면 좋겠어요. Yeah. And if you want to say to someone, you can do it, you say, 할수 있어. 할수 있어. Or 할수 있어요. 할수 있어. 힘내. <laughs> <laughs> Be strong, fighting. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Wendy, for your comments. That's it for the questions uh, today. Hyunwoo, thank you very much for answering them. Thank you. And uh, we'll have another edition, of course, of K-Talk prepared next week on Friday. That's right. It was great and exciting. And good luck with the opening of your uh, coffee shop tomorrow. Thank you. I don't think I can sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, you're going to be really busy. Huh? And I'm going to try to stop by to say hi as sure, well. Sure, sure. Okay, music, Catch the Wave continues. This is Yoon Jong-shin with Yoon Ha, Bat Girl.